This is Arvind from Go Engineer, and it's January 2018, where winter storm Inga is in full effect. What is happening to your designs and parts in this cold weather? Let's look at SolarWorks Simulation's thermal analysis capabilities to predict this and see what design considerations may be taken into account to ensure proper functionality. Here is a steering bracket and we want to confirm that it can be used in adverse climates as well. The design considerations are for a temperature of minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. We are going to look at two specific scenarios. For the first case, let's look at this railway line and notice the gap in the middle. This gap is placed so that the line may expand in hot weather and not touch each other and contract in cooler weather but still allow the train to pass over. To calculate the compression of our part, we select a linear static analysis, specify material, and apply a temperature load of minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. To restrain the model, we use soft springs. The model runs to completion, and we can now look at the results. Stresses are usually low in such cases, but we want to analyze the maximum displacement and ensure our designs are functionable at this compressed state. The second case is when our designs interact with other parts made with different materials. Due to parts compressing at different rates, stresses develop at contact regions. We need to ensure these are factored into our stress calculations in addition to the external loads applied to it. In this assembly, different materials have been specified, but the temperature for the entire assembly is set to minus 40. Soft springs are used again, and the study is ran. We see the faces where the parts are bonded have stresses developed in them due to the different rates of compression. To learn more about how Go Engineer can help you simulate your designs in a variety of conditions, contact your local representative. Thank you.